Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be making another tier list video on Miraculous this time. We're going to be rating the Miraculous costumes. If y'all want to see more tier list videos like this, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button down below. And also, I'm going to be making more uh, content on Miraculous. Also, sorry that, um, <laughs> that, uh, I know we're changing a lot on the channel and stuff, but I'm trying to do different things. So anyway, let's get into this. Also, give me one second. But, uh... Let's make get into this now. Also, please be sure to make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button down below, and I will do more. Anyway, so, we're going to be rating all the costumes on Miraculous. Anyway, so the first costume we're going to be rating is Ladybug's outfit. I will say this, I really like the outfit. I feel like they could have changed more about it later on but i know they did that in season four with the um with lucky charm and stuff but i still think this is a good looking outfit so i'm gonna put this in a tier i really like it and then the next one we have the lucky charm ladybug from season four i really like this change i feel like it's much better than the original because it just shows more and it shows that she has more power and everything than she did before and I like the effects they made when they animated it. If I had to put this, I'd put this in S tier. Aqua Bit Lady, now Aqua Bug. I really like this outfit. It feels way better than the regular Ladybug outfit. I think they did a good job on it. I just wish they would have, uh, you know, kept it better. But although, if I had, actually, I'm going to put the regular Ladybug at B tier. I meant to say. But if I had to put this, I'd probably put this at, I guess, S tier. I think it's a panger. Oh, wait, oops, I didn't mean the used dictionary. Um, the next one is going to be Lady Ice. So this outfit's okay. It's really good. I don't like it as much as the regular Aqua or as the Aqua one, but I still think it looks pretty cool. But basically, Ladybug can ice skate and do everything she can as. Well, basically just regular Ladybug. I think it was really cool. Oh, but I put this in A tier. Next one we got is Cosmo Bug. So if I had to, so we got to see this in a few of the Miraculous World, and we also got to see this in Ephemeral or Admirable. I don't know how to say that it's a name, but that's what it looked like, and I really liked it. If I had to say, I put this in like B tier. Oh my god, I keep accidentally doing that. Next one we got is Dragon Bug. So basically, Marinette unifies the Ladybug and Dragon Miraculous, giving her four different powers. The I think it's Creation, Wind Dragon, uh, Water Dragon, I think Lightning Dragon. Or is, I think that's what I, at least what I remember. And so I think if I had to put this one, I'd put this in and B tier. And the next one we have is Lady B. So this one is where Ladybug unifies Tiki and Pollen and be and they're basically the Ladybug and B Miraculous. I really like this one. I think I put this in A tier. Because it feels like a really good power. That next one is Pegabug, where she unifies the horse and the Ladybug Miraculous. I'm gonna be honest, I don't like this outfit. I feel I liked it at first, but I don't. Because it just I don't like the uh the legs on. Also, I, I don't like the brown to it. It doesn't really feel like it fits very well. If I had to put this, I'd put this in C tier. Next one we got is Penny Bug. I really like this one. I think they did a good job with this one. And Ladybug basically unifies the bunny. Uh, I think it's the bunny, the horse, and the Ladybug Miraculous. I think it was this one. I should go in S tier. Because it, it just feels really cool. And then Lady Noir. I like this one. I think it would, it had, it's a pretty good one. I like it more than the regular Ladybug outfit. And it feels cool to see Marinette using the Cat Miraculous. Instead of just always using the Ladybug. But if I had to put this... Oh my god, I keep doing that. I think I put this in... Um, A tier. 
Um, next one we're going to go for is multi mouse. So Ladybug basically is where she uses the mouse miraculous, gives the power of multitude, but she gets to unify a lot of miraculouses at once. Although the one thing I have with this, this is I just feel like I wish she could have used more powers, but because she only I feel like used three or four powers, the she could have used a lot more. I feel like, but she didn't. But I mean it's okay, I guess. But if I had to put this, I put this in B tier. And the next one we have is Multifox. I mean, it's okay, it's decent, but where she unifies the mouse and the um the mouse and the fox miraculous. I think it was okay, I guess. I just wish there could have been more with it. I put this in B tier. Next one we have is Multibug. So this is where she unifies the mouse and the ladybug outfit. I think it was a good one. And I think I put this in A tier. And the next one we have is Multi Noir, where she uses Molo or the mouse and the cat miraculous. I really liked Kwame Buster. I liked how we got to see all different sorts of Kwamis and powers. I think if I put this one, I put this in the uh b tier too and the next one we have is cat noir i really like cat noir's outfit because he's i think he's known in the show as prince cat charming meow or at least that's what alia called him i think it's really good i don't know if i like it as much as the regular ladybug outfit but i mean it's pretty cool i'll put this in a tier uh aqua noir i don't really like the outfit too much i feel like they could have showed a transformation for it, but they never did. I wonder also why they didn't, but I still think it was cool. But if I had to put this, I'd put this in C tier. Ice Cat. I really like this transformation. Heck, I like this more than the Aquid one. If I had to put it, I'd put it in A tier. And then Astro Cat. Um, it was a really cool outfit. I think it should be an S tier. This was one of my favorite outfits. Snake the Wire. I feel like Snake was really cool. We got to see a set, uh, basically Adrian unifying the cat and snake miraculous because he used both of those miraculous before. Well, he's used the cat tons of times. He used the snake miraculous against the Sparata, but he failed at it. But it was cool to see him using it here. I think I don't like the outfit too much, but I think the powers were cool. But if I had to put it, I'd put it in B tier or C tier. Next one we have is Rabbit Noir. I really like this one. It's kind of, I was kind of cool to see the blue and the green. And we got to see a lot more to it. I think it was really good. If I had to put it, I'd put it in A tier. Next one we have is Catwalker. So Adrian basically tries to change his ways to being Catwalker instead of being just a regular Cat Noir outfit. I really like this. But the only problem I have with it was that I feel like Marinette could have seen a or Lady Pugger could have seen Cat Noir differently. Is this how she would have seen Cat Noir if he was always like this? The problem was I just had with the, the episode Kiro Neko is that she felt like Catwalker was too perfect, and that was the problem for her. There. And it wasn't getting anywhere. I mean, they had some good moments, but it just didn't feel very like the best for Adrian because he said he didn't even like being Catwalker because it felt too different for him. If I had to say though, rating the costume, I'd say C tier. It's not the best outfit. Mr. Bug. I really like this outfit. I like it more than the regular Ladybug outfit and the cat outfit. If I had to put this one, I'd say I put it in S tier. Aspect. This is the one where Adrian uses the steak miraculous alone. Now, I'm going to be honest, I didn't like this outfit. I mean, it was cool for Adrian to use another power, but it just he just failed with it really bad. I mean, I know he made up for it in um, the episode Miracle Queen, but I mean, I know that he was trying to play different roles, so yeah, he was wanting to impress Ladybug, but it didn't do very good. Next one we have is Hawk Moth. So... Gabriel becomes Hawk Moth. Now, this is just the first form of Gabriel. Because he changes later on. Um, Hawk Moth, it was a decent outfit, but 
if I had to put it, it'd be in B tier. Next one, we got Shadow Moth. So this is where he uses uh, the Moth and uh, Dusu Mirac or the Moth and the Peacock Miraculous together and create Shadow Moth. I don't like it as much as the regular uh, as the regular Hawk Moth, but I still think it was a cool form. But if I had to say, I put it in C tier. Shadow Noir. I think this was a cool outfit. I really like it. It's much better. Than the regular Hawk Moth, so I had to put an A tier. Now, Monarch. I don't like this as much as Shadow Noir's outfit. I feel like they made Gabriel kind of creepy with it. But I mean, it was still cool, I guess. So I'll put it in B tier. And then Rita Rouge. I really love Rita Rouge's outfit. She has probably one of my favorite costume outfits. I think, I know Alia isn't the best character ever, but I still think she was a cool character. And I think she played a good role in Season 4. Even if she's kind of ridiculous in Season 5, I think it's still good. I say I put this in S tier. It's a good outfit. Rita Furtive. So, this is where Alia tries to play the sneaky role. I'm going to be honest. I didn't like this outfit. Like, it was cool like to see her trying to blend it and be sneaky. But it just didn't work for me, honestly. I'm going to put in B tier, honestly. And then Scarabella. I really love Scarabella's outfit. It's all you're using the Ladybug Miraculous for once. But the problem I have with this is that um, people hated the episode Haxton because they feel like they didn't like that all you was beating Adrian so easily. But, I mean, she thinks faster than Adrian does. So, But I still like that this outfit. I like it more than the regular Ladybug outfit. I think I'd say I put this in S tier. Also, the next one we're going to do is Queen Bee. So this is where Chloe used to be miraculous. I really love this outfit. I think it might be possibly top five favorite outfits. I think this one really worked together. It's just my only problem with this is I really feel like Chloe was over, was just... I feel like they writ Chloe badly in the season and as of nowadays. Because I really liked Chloe. But it just I just really hate that... The writers ruined her. Honestly, I get that she was more of the villain and stuff, but I feel like she could have played a different role. I feel like I liked her as Queen Bee, and I liked how she was starting to change as season two and three went on. I just feel like they overdid it when they changed her in season four or five, because now she's just a jerk. But I feel like there could have been more with her, honestly. Anyway, but if I had to wait the costume, I'd say S tier, definitely. Next one is Carapace. So Nino uses the Turtle Miraculous. I think it was cool and all to see Nino changing, but although the problem I had with it is just that it was too the I don't really like it too much because it just doesn't feel very uh it doesn't feel very fluent. Like I feel like they could have went for something different. But if I had to say I'd probably put like C tier. Next one we have is Mayora. Is this is where Natalie uses the Peacock Miraculous? I love this outfit. I think it's a really good villain outfit. I actually like it more than Gabriel's outfits. I think I put this in S tier. It's a really cool outfit. I like the dress too. I just feel like though, though I just feel like Natalie isn't very used anymore. Like I know she said in the episode episode one of season five she was done helping him. Which, I don't blame her. Gabriel is still an idiot. And anyway, Viperion. So, Luca uses the Snake and Miraculous. I really like this. I like it more than the Aspect outfit. If I have to, I have to put this one, I put it in A tier. But, I'm just going to say, this one was really cool. And I think Luca used it well. Anyway, the Pegasus. So, this is where Max uses the... Uh, the horse miraculous. It was okay, but I don't think it really worked. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't like it. If I had to put this one, I put in D tier. I just didn't like the effect with it. And then this is Ryoko. So this is where Kagami used the the dragon miraculous. I really like this outfit. I think they did a good job on it. I really like Kagami as a character, and I like how they're making her play a lot of a bigger role in the season five. But if I had to put this one, I'd put this in S tier. I think it's really good. 
Next one we have is Bunnix. So, or Adult Bunnix. I really like the, the outfit Adult Bunnix. I think they did a really good job. If I had to say, I put this in S tier. This was a really good outfit. Teenage Bunnix. I'm going to be honest, I did like... I mean, I know it's the same costume. But I like the way they animated Adult Bunnix more. If I had to say, it's probably S tier 2, I guess. Can I, girl? So... Alex uses the dog miraculous. I thought this was cool that they had all uh they had uh Alex use the dog miraculous in this episode. In episode one of Evolution. I think they did a good job. I just wish that though they wouldn't have made it over uh I wish they could have used it more. I feel like they made it so similar to Miss Hound, but I feel like they could have just given it to Sabrina and kept Alex along, but I know that would have caused problems. Anyway, but if I had to say, I'll put this in A tier. And then the bunny dog. So, if I had to say, it's where uh, Alex uses the bunny and dog. If I had to say, I put this in A, uh, A tier. Next one we have on the list is King Monkey. So, I did not like this outfit. It's a cool power that he has, but not a good costume. It just didn't really go too well with it. If I had to put this, I put this a D tier, honestly. J Turtle. It was cool to see Master Fu using the Miraculous for once, but it just didn't really work out too well. Although I do like this more than Carapace's outfit, so I'm gonna put this in B tier. Majestia. So I really like this outfit. I although I don't like that she kind of feels like just Superman, but different. <laughs> Uh, if I had to put this, I'd put this in C tier. Oh, wait, oops. There we go. Uh, the next one is Night Owl. Uh, it didn't feel... It's not the best outfit, honestly. If I had to put this, I'd put this in D tier. Doorman was okay, but it didn't have the best power, though. And the next one we have is Uncanny Valley. I really like this outfit. It's just sad that they didn't do the best job with it. I really like the character, though. Sparrow. I mean, it's a cool outfit, but it's, like, decent, though. But if I had to say, I'd put this in B tier. Eagle. So, I think this was a cool outfit, but it just didn't work for what was going on. And I feel like they could have done better on the designs. But if I had to say... Probably a C tier, honestly. I didn't like as much as the Sparrow outfit. And Lady Dragon. I love this outfit for uh, Faye when she uses the Prodigious. But if I had to say, i put this in S tier. Next one we have is Vesperia. So, Zoe uses the Beam Rackless. I'm going to be honest, though, about it. I don't like this outfit. I feel like they could have did a whole lot better. I just wish that, I know that she was supposed to be, like, Chloe, but nicer, but I just feel like it didn't work. Her story and stuff wasn't very good. And also, her costume just did not work. I just gonna be honest. They could have did a better job. And I just don't like this outfit at all. It's just like, yeah, where's the inspiration? Like, where's the really good hood of it, if you know what I mean? And the next one we have is Pig Gala. I really like this outfit. I just don't know why people hate on this outfit. Like, I feel like this was a cool power or a cool costume. Because it kind of fits her role. Because she is supposed to be, like, the ballerina princess, kind of. I just don't understand why people didn't like it too well. I think it was cool. I'm going to put it in A tier. I think it was still a good costume. The next one we have is Polly Mouse. This costume is okay. Um, it's cool to see um, Relin using the Mouse Miraculous. If I had to say, I put this in B tier. And the next one we have is Purple Tigress. I really love this outfit. This is probably top three outfits in Miraculous. This one is just really attractive. Anyway, next one we have is Miss Hound. This is where Sabrina uses the dog miraculous. I think, honestly, I just wish she would have gotten more screen time, honestly. 
I think it was good. I'm going to put this in B tier. Next one we have is Rooster Bold. I don't like this outfit, I'm going to be honest. It just doesn't fit very well. I feel like they could have come up with better designs. Capricrid, I don't think was a very good outfit. And this is where I think Nathaniel uses the... Uh, I forgot the, I forgot the name of it, but or the which miraculous it was. But I'm just gonna be honest, it didn't, it wasn't. I don't really like this outfit too much. I'm gonna put this in D tier, honestly. Minotaur rocks. I do like the outfit. It feels like it fits uh, Ivan. He's like kind of like a bull fighting. So, and I think it was cool. I think I put this in. B tier. Next one we have is Flare Mittable. So this is where Felix uses, or dressed as Atrid, uses the Dog Miraculous. I feel like this is a okay outfit, but I don't like it as much as the uh, Sabrina's outfit or or Alex's outfit. I could have done, I feel like they could have made it more you know, like Adrian. I just feel like it was entirely different for the occasion. If I had to put this, this is in B tier. Next one we have is Monarch. So this is where Gabriel uses all the Miraculouses at once. I think they did a cool job on it, but I just wish that they hadn't changed it up so quickly. But if I had to say, I put this in B tier. Next one we have is Kitty Noir. I don't really like this outfit very well for Zoe. She feels like more crazy and stuff. Like, she has that crazy color kind of vibe, which I didn't feel like worked with her when she was using the Cat Miraculous. I feel like there could have been more. But if I had to say, probably C tier. Next one, we and the last one we have is Arga. So this is where Felix uses the Peacock Miraculous. I like this outfit. I, not, I don't like it as much as Mayura's outfit, but I still think it's a pretty good outfit. If I had to say, I put in A tier. And that is all... For this tier list so this is what we have currently um i like i think i'm good with this or i think i'm did this okay i hope you guys enjoyed this what video please make sure you hit the subscribe button hit the like button down below i think this was uh cool to rate the outfits of the miraculous what do y'all think do y'all agree do y'all disagree let me know in the comments down below anyway i hope you guys Enjoy this, and I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye.